All right, everybody, welcome back. Tub and I are here. We're going to do some social commentary. As you may know, if you've been watching the show over the last few weeks, the social commentary. And, and who's not watching? I know, right? Like, like clearly they're watching. Oh, yeah. People uh, are watching. Right, yes. I, I see you. I see you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> watching you. Uh, I'm watching you watch me, which is kind of creepy. Creepy on creepy. Anyway, <laughs> if you've been watching the show, you know that we do a social commentary. And the cool part about this social commentary is that Tub has no idea what I'm going to be presenting. And again this week, I'm going to present him with something. And I think it's, I, I think, we'll just see what happens. We'll, we'll see what his facial expression says. Look for the microaggressions. I, I, I haven't thrown anything me. inside the room yet right, when we've done right. these or anything. So, so far, we're okay. So this one comes from Libs of TikTok. And what that means is that's a social media account on Twitter called Libs of TikTok. And what they do is they go and they curate um, videos from TikTok okay. of very far left-leaning individuals talking about stuff. Now, some of them are just kind of amusing just to make a quick comment on and then move on. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's really anything worth talking about. Okay. In this particular case, I think there is because I think that this is going to become something in the near future. So, so we're taking this seriously? Like, am I well, looking at this or am I well, just well, like, well, what is my direction we'll with see. this? Do we'll I get see. mad or like, <laughs> these idiots? So we're gonna, I'm going to play this video. It's actually three separate videos um, uh, totaling about um, maybe about a minute and 20 seconds or so. We're going to watch them all at one time? Yeah, we're going to watch them all one after another. And they're, they're, it's not necessarily a continuous video that was just broke up into three. What I think what happened was this individual had posted them on TikTok. Okay. And then the libs of TikTok extracted different videos or different clips of different videos and then just posted them on Twitter. Oh, okay. All okay, right. so I'm, are, I'm getting a Are they following the same topic? Um, they are. They are. It's the same individual. Oh, same, okay. Same topic. All right. So what is the topic? This individual's name is... Uh, Dr. Alan Walker. Okay. Dr. Alan Walker is, I believe, non-binary, and I believe used to be Allison Walker. I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> I can see his face already. <laughs> um, that's not the interesting part. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just telling you who the person is. All Dr. Right. Alan Walker is a criminal justice PhD okay. and wrote a book, and I don't have the title of the book, but basically... Uh, I think it's a. I, I, I think it goes. I, I think they go by. It's so weird to say this stuff. I, I'm trying to be courteous. They, I believe, that's is the correct pronouns that they like to use. I'm trying to be courteous so that we don't distract from the broader point here. That's not the broader point. They wrote a book which came. Oh, which so followed the dissertation. There were plural people writing this book. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so they wrote a book um, which followed a dissertation about something called maps. You ever heard of maps? I. No, probably not okay. what you're referring so, to. So no. Capital M, capital A, capital P, lowercase s. Should plural. I look it up? So it's map. Do I want plural. this on my phone? No, you don't. Okay. All right. <laughs> Stands for minor attracted persons. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Say say that again. Minor attracted persons. Can we please assume that we're talking about midget people who dig underground? All right. Is, that can is it not please the case. be E R and not O R? And can oh nope. my nope. Okay. So they wrote a book, a uh, dissertation and then a book, on how we might address and prevent maps from becoming pedophiles. Okay? Well, so let's watch okay. the video. All right. Okay. Let, I'm sure this video, I have a feeling this video is just going to clear it all up. It's going to clear it all up. All right. So let's see here. Um, I use the term minor attracted person or map uh, in the title and throughout the book for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, because I think it's important to use terminology for groups that members of that group want others to use for them. Um, and MAP advocacy groups like Before You Act um, have advocated for use of the term MAP. Um, they've advocated for it primarily because it's less stigmatizing than other terms like pedophile. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't true, and it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. Um, I've definitely heard the idea that you brought up, though, that the use of the term minor attracted person suggests that it's okay to be attracted to children. Uh, but using a term that communicates who someone is attracted to uh, doesn't indicate anything about the morality of that attraction. And non-offending maps, by definition, do not abuse children, so their behaviors are moral. Um, but they're still being subjected to this same idea that they're bad people. Um, stigma against maps is a problem in part because it makes maps think that they're monsters. 
um, that's really problematic in terms of map well-being. Um, it's really hard to cope when you think you're a terrible person uh, because you have attractions that you can't change. All right. <laughs> you, so, <laughs> you owe me three minutes of my life back. Like, okay, let me talk. Okay. In defense of. Okay. I was MAPS when I was 17. <laughs> okay. When I was 17, oh. I fell into that category of, hey, this 16-year-old girl is pretty cute. That's fine. Right. Okay. So you go first because I, I, I'm i trying to figure out, like, are, are, are we trying to condone this? There, Are we trying to change the verbiage? Do we think that changing the verbiage, changing the title makes the action any different? If I no longer say, hey, I murdered you, but right. hey, I seized your belonging. Right. Okay. Oh, that sounds so much better. The, the same outcome and the same problem is still there. Right. So you tell me what you think our direction is so here before I some, walk out of this room. So let's, let's lay some foundation here. What, okay. What, what, what's going on? So what's happening? And um, we, 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 I want to try to be as objective as possible about this so, so, so we can at least have that conversation. You'll, oh, so you're going to be the objection. I am. I'm okay. going to be the objection. Fair enough. Okay. So what's happening is they're looking uh, – this person is looking at it. Dr. Walker's looking at it and saying, okay, we have people out there that are offenders. They're clearly pedos. Nobody's going to disagree with that. Okay. But then, uh, then they look at it and they say, okay, well, there are some people that never offend. Why? Right? What's the, what's the rationale behind that? And the idea behind it is if we understand more about why the, those who don't offend but still have these attractions, um, why, what it is that prevents them from offending – then maybe we can use that to apply it and prevent the offenders from offending in the first place. So what they're basically saying is, let's figure out why some people don't act on their attractions so we can get that to be applied Wait, to hold, those hold on, who hold do. On. Is that what they were saying in that video? Because that's not what I heard at all. So that's, that's, their, that's their foundation, right? That's their foundation. Now, I still have some problems with that. Don't get me wrong. That didn't sound like the argument that was being made there at all. It would sound like the argument that was being made was, let's change the words, right. but let's have the same actions so, still. So... They they are making a distinction and saying your attraction is something that's innate and inside of you, but that doesn't necessarily translate into actions. And I and I think that in fairness, but we all have those. A, we all have right, those. There's a reality. Like, yes, I'm attracted to many women. I haven't touched many women. Like every woman that's that I've been attracted to, that's because they wouldn't let you. Well, <laughs> but every woman that I'm uh, that I've ever been attracted to, right? Like the greater majority of them, <laughs> I, almost all of them. I did not lay a single finger on, let alone any kind of violation whatsoever. Right. right? right. So like that never happened. And so so they're just saying, okay, well, this applies to, to, to child sex offenders as well because there are many who run their entire lives and never, ever, ever touch a single child. What is it about them that we might be able to use to help, um, to help improve the uh, – uh, the situation it's, a, it's more of a the stigma to help prevent it's right. right okay but i didn't hear that and then and then the idea they go further and they say okay. well, there's this stigma and i think if i understand the argument correctly the 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 question is how do we get the so you have let's let's call it group a group b okay okay you have group a who never offends okay group b they they become offenders at some point in their life okay so how do we get a hold how do we find group a how do we get them out and get them into talking with us so that we learn more and more so in that book that she wrote he or they wrote i say she because i think it was allison it gets really confusing so if i mess up she get over it right she um <laughs> I, I i said at the very beginning i'm trying to be courteous so if it, you know in in the in the book that they wrote, they interviewed like forty one different people from like from group A, yeah, or from group, group okay. from group A okay. in like ten different countries or I don't know some number All of right. countries, right? Uh-huh. And so I think the question is like that's a small sample, so we need more of a sample. We need to learn more, and we also so that we can develop strategies to get people in group B the help they need before they become offenders. So, th- we're so trying basically, to get... they're trying to get group B so no, 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 to become actually, group A. No, actually, what they're trying to do is or get stay group, group A. Yes, I was getting, they're group trying a. to get them to yes, stay yep, group yep. A. But, but hold and on. And by doing so, they're applying some of the same logic that we have going on elsewhere in the world by saying like, hey, you identify how you feel, so therefore I should respect that. Now, I have qualms with that. We're not going to get into that. Right. Here's the issue that I found because I read some of the dissertation. You're not about to show me another video, are you? No, but I okay. read some of the dissertation. <laughs> 
I read some of the dissertation, and okay. I highlighted something that I felt was very problematic. So I'm going to read this whole little group of texts. I'll, 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 I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. Despite the belief of pro-choice participants, pro-choice participants, by the way, is defined as people who believe that children should have the choice to engage in sexual activities. Disregard that. Just that's the definition. Disregard that? <laughs> Just, that's, that's the point we're going for. Just despite the belief of pro-choice participants that some minors may be able to consent to sexual activity with adults, these individuals, like anti-contact participants, now anti-contact means people that say, hey, contact with the child, unacceptable. Like anti-contact participants also expressed the belief that sexual contact between adults and minors would cause harm to minors. That sounds pretty decent, right, at first, right? Because you've got you've got two different groups of people. you got ones that say, hey, I believe that children should have a choice. Another group that said no contact, period, whatsoever. But both of them seem to be agreeing that sexual contact with a minor would cause harm to a minor. I agree. It does. Here's where I find it. So let's problem. shut this down. And we're in- Here, here's where I get the problem. Next slide. They argued that society takes away the choice for minors to engage in sexual activity with adults and the harm caused as a result of consensual participation in such activity would be a result of a society that is intolerant of such acts. That's my problem with this. But they agreed it will cause problems and they're actually kind of saying, but the problems it caused won't be that bad. No, no. Worse. What they're saying is... We agree that sexual contact with minors right. is a problem. Mm-hmm. It's a problem because all you people out there say it is. Say so, and you're intolerant of this. Your intolerance is causing harm to the children. So they're turning it around. They're saying it's your fault, and I say, no, it is not our fault. And so this is my. So now I, I, I've thought about maybe doing. An, I've, I've thought about maybe reading, like fully reading, and you know, picking it apart. Okay. And doing my own podcast episode on this. I don't know. Do you want to spend that much time on this? Well, I think this is an insidious idea. And I was actually having some conversation with somebody online. And this one person jumped in and she pointed out, she said, this idea that it's the intolerance of society, that's the problem. She said, this is not new. I've heard this argument decades ago. But I think right now, when we couple this idea with the idea that, hey, we want to help keep people staying in group A and never migrate to group B, you know, the group B that, that it becomes a But offender. no, I don't I think and they're trying they, to say it does it's not bad to be in group B. I think it's to me, I'm looking at this, I'm going, it doesn't sound like they're saying, hey, let's just let's do research so that group A stays in group A so that no children are harmed. But right. they're not saying that. Right. Right. They're saying well, the harm's not bad. Right. They're saying the harm is your fault. Right. Society's fault. And that's what I have a big problem with that. That's my big issue with this whole idea. Now, now I think it becomes problematic because here, here's the reality. So hold, yes, hold, we do want to keep that? people from being offenders. Yes, we should figure out what it means, uh, what it's going to take for them to not become offenders. Mm-hmm. However, when you couple that with the idea that, hey, we're going to call everybody what they want to be called, one that normalizes the, the behavior because nobody wants to be called a pedophile. Nobody's like, you know what? I would prefer you to call me a pedophile because that is the proper... That's, right, that, that's that what is, I am. That is what I choose to be mm-hmm. or that is who Nobody's I am. Nobody's identifying as... Nobody identifies that. They're, of course, going to be identifying and say, no, I just have this attraction to minors and it's it's a lot more okay. beautiful than you're making. Of course they're going to say that. All right, he, okay, so, okay, so he, here's my problem. Two, let's go with the first one is um, where's the age? Like my problem is they're not saying anything about, you know, uh, a 17 year old. I, I don't. I, there, there may be more in the. That's what I'm saying is that with, this is wide open. Five year old. Right. Six year old. So so one of the things. So in the libertarian community, it's very, very common for a large number of libertarians to immediately the moment they hear anything that sounds even remotely pedophile to be like, get the wood chipper ready. No, sorry. Oh, okay. I was ca- right. trying to call. No, no, okay. I, I, thought, this, to I thought this was your button. hey, Tom, this is your chance to just dis- <laughs> no, I'm, okay. Sorry, I was trying to call without for, the mute button. I'm waiting for the bad point there. Sorry, no. So, so there's, there's a large number of them that will that will immediately that will immediately leap to that. I'm not making a judgment call. That's fine. I have no issues there. Okay. The the crowd that kind of sympathizes or that wants to normalize or whatever term you want to call it. They start making distinctions and they'll say, well, okay, pedophilia technically is this or what you're talking about is hebophilia and this ophelia and that ophelia. And I'm like, look, if you – here's the big problem. I think it's a good idea to, keep, to, to, to look and say how can we prevent people from 
sexually uh, molesting our children. Yes. I think How do we a prevent idea. a crime from happening? Right. And yes. I think it's actually a great idea that if somebody says, man, I've got these urges and I don't want them, but I can't, I, I can't get rid of them. Help. Okay. I want to help that now, person. Okay. Now, yes. here's, here's why I want to agree with you. I say this often, okay? It's inside the church, I tell people, I say, listen, I, I ha- it, the temptation is not the sin, mm-hmm. okay? Um, if somebody comes to me, they say, hey, I struggle with this. Right. I'm not doing it, mm-hmm. but I struggle with it. Hey, I can work with that. I can right. work with this. I have these urges, but I fight them off because I know it's wrong. Right. We can work inside of that. I'm sorry, Deal. I'm watching that video, and it doesn't sound like that's what they're saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. That, that, this, this, it sounds like they're saying... This is what we do. This is okay. We don't want to have this horrible title right. stuck to it. Right. But this is what I assure you. I have grandchildren now. You, your yes. son is two no, years old. I got old. you. I got you. Don't need to be said. It's understood. It's very understood. Let it's not one, of on them, one of them. One of them. Say it on record. The, uh, no, listen. This is what I, mean, I will stand his by. Face, for, his face. This uh, is what I will stand by. His face says it. Okay. So libertarians are all about freedom. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if these people in that group want to mm-hmm. have some crazy thoughts, you better keep them as thoughts because if right. not, I also have the freedom right. to defend. Right. And you better stink and believe right. that's where I will defend. Right. Listen, I might get mad about a lot of things and get worked up. I'm like, yeah, dude, whatever. Like, right, I don't right. care. I promise you, if you come to me and around one of my grandchildren Absolutely. and start saying, no, you don't understand. I'm not a pedophile. Right. I, I just, I, I just want to. Take them out on a date. Right. And I have this new term for it. I don't right. care what you call it. The thing you're going to talk – it's end up being target practice is what right. it's going to be. Right. Okay? So I can't believe you brought this up. Right. So here's what I said about this. On oh, there's more. For, I, oh, no, there's here, more. Here's what I said. Here's what I said. Okay. No, I, you, don't, you don't have to read anyway. Okay. I said <laughs> convincing – so here's, and this is the problem that I have with that line that I highlighted that I read. Right. I said convincing yourself to refrain because you believe the root of harm is lacking acceptance – um, the, the root of the harm is the lacking acceptance is not laudable. It's it's not commendable, right? Because all you're doing is saying, I would do this if it weren't for your terrible ideas, which I feel would be the harmful part. And I'm like, no, the harmful part is you touching, right? right? In any way whatsoever. That is that, the That's basically part. saying if I, if I can be in a situation where I won't get pegged and I won't get right. busted, I'm going to go do this. Right. So what right. happens? So what happens? And if so you're... then somebody came back at me. And this other person. Okay. And she said, uh, she said, nobody is saying it's laudable, right? Like, this is just a researcher researching. And I said, well, actually, yes. And I showed one of the videos. Uh-huh. And I said, Dr. Alan Walker describes non defending maps as moral. Yep. Right? Society has long, and this is what I said, society has long held that moral behavior is laudable behavior. We want people to replicate moral behavior, mm-hmm. we want you to stop doing immoral behavior. We have described and said when you when you touch a child, that is immoral behavior. Yep. When you when, when you only engage with another person who has the ability to consent, consent. and gives you the consent mm-hmm. for whatever it is that you do, that is moral behavior. That is behavior that I want you to replicate. Mm-hmm. Right. And so to me, I look at it and I say, the biggest problem here is we're taking these three elements and we're mushing them all together. Right. And the problem that I have is that it is this line where they say, you know, it's, it, it, they're, they're suggesting that society is the problem. And I'm like, you researcher, Dr. Alan Walker, what you need to do is you need to say, look, society is pretty consistent. We Th- find yes. it gross and disgusting. Despite all this of the differences something... in society and all the backgrounds right. that different people have, most right. everybody will agree. Right. No, that's where we draw you the line. You go to jail as a pedo, you, you. are done. Y- Exactly. Right? Like even like dudes that have like raped women and killed people, yeah. they'll be like, "Come on, oh, dude, come on in." You touch a child, I'm gonna stab it. you with a broomstick in your eyeball. Yeah, right. Like they're just whoa. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, hey, go, go I'm down with TV. it. Go uh. to TV. So, right. So, so even criminals have lines. Yes. Right? right. And so I look and I say, that is the world you're in. I, I I think it's great that researchers want to look in and say, how can we prevent prevent? This? But that's not what they're talking about. But they need to operate how, how on big? the world that exists today, not some made up fantasy version of the world. Because here's what's going to happen, in my opinion. The what's next? What's going to happen mm-hmm. is they'll do all this research. They'll say all these things need to happen, and their ideas will not be will not be. Uh, impl- they, they won't be able to implement any of these ideas because they'll be dependent on society to come around and agree to it. Society is not, I hope society never comes around to this idea, right? Right. So society won't come around to it. And so what ends up happening, people from group A 
continue to come, become people in group B. So all of this, no results. Okay. Right? Yet all the talk about, oh, I just want to help. If you want to help people, help people in the context under which they have to operate. The context is society doesn't like it. We're not interested in calling them maps. We're interested in calling them pedos. I don't care about the distinction between hebophilia and pedophilia. If you want to make that distinction in the research realm, in the academic realm, when you're studying this stuff, that's great. Once you get out into the real world, you need to talk to us like we are. Yeah. Come to us as we are. The same, and that's the same message I give libertarians. Meet but, people oh, where they are. No, but hold on. He, it's the same message. But, but hang on. Here's why, here's why they'll get their way. Let me tell you why. Because you already fell for it. How, how did I fall for it? Because you said, they're they. They're they. Okay, they're they because it's already started. Sure. And that's because so, I can't figure out whether I want to call but, but, no, see, Dr. Alan Walker he or she. Okay, so that's and she so, and, 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 with and, a very bad mustache. All right, so I mean, inside. That's my impression. Okay, but no, but here's what I'm getting at. Because here's what's happened. Words lose their meaning. Right. And people go, this is, you need to call me this because this is what I identify as. You need to accept this. And we become politically correct. Oh, if that's who they are. Listen, I refer to, I refuse to refer to any person as they. Okay. We've had this conversation. Sure. Like, listen, I don't care if in your world you go off and say, hey, and, and you dance around where they, he, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Okay. I don't have to agree. Right. I, I agree with your right no, to go I, do I, it. Right. I can go, go have right. at it. Yeah, I don't have to buy into it. But here's what I'm getting at. We've already fallen for it. Okay. You've already kind of giving into the, the language matters. The, it's already started. Okay. So it's, you're right. Okay, fair enough. So you're it's saying gonna, this the fact that you started with this. Dr. With, Walker oh, said, uh-huh. Ma- uh, P- these people want to be called maps. Yep. I want to be called they. And you're saying, DL, you've already started. You given in to they. Yep. What's why next? wouldn't you give in to maps? It just waited All out. All right, fair point. And that's, and that's why I say that I, I believe that there are times we have to make stands. We have to go, listen, we will not agree with this. I will not. And, and I think that we draw the line somewhere. Right. If we start drawing the line somewhere, go, this is it. I'm done with this insanity. Right. Whatever it's, it happens it's, to be. And, and the line cannot be, I want to be courteous to you so that it doesn't distract from a broader point. But uh, I am drawing the line here. Like, I, I, I'm not sure that I'm really on board with the idea that because I gave in one instance, I have to give in all no, instances. No, 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 no. Here's what I'm saying. We do. A what? Five years Not ago. Not that we have to, but we do. We do. Okay. Five okay. years ago, you would have never, you would have never, never thought of, or maybe at least in the normal world, you would have never thought of referring to a single person as they. Man, you would have done that. Kinda. I mean, if it was floating around, but now you corrected yourself in order just to be kind of, okay, we're going to, okay, okay. okay, that's how it gets in. Okay. And, and that's the fear. Uh, now, listen. Once again, if you that's your world, I don't want to make it very clear. I don't want to say that, oh, you're about to agree. That's not what I'm saying. No, no, I understand. But I'm saying that that's how things get in. It starts it's with this. It becomes ex- it becomes acceptable. Oh, we won this war. Okay. So how long? Now, this is clearly out there now. Yeah. So it's how the far? And, and they gave a talk at some college. I can't remember what college it was. ODU or something like that? I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. So the problem is this is long game. Right. Okay, we are falling for a long game. Right. We keep giving in every step of the way. This is why I say that. Great, listen, I, I believe that you have a right as a libertarian. You have your personal freedoms, dude. Have at it. Right. There, but there, there is a level of accept. There's once again, you cannot infringe on right. the rights of others. In this example right here, I can follow libertarian thinking. Says right. I cannot infringe on the rights of others. That we have to be able to consent. Okay, right. a four year old is not consenting to have sex with a twenty year old. Right. Okay. So right there, you've already infringed on. Right. So I can maintain libertarian thinking. Says you have the freedom to go do what you want to go right. do but once you've infringed on which is what they're talking about right. i don't right. have to i don't have to walk down this road with you right so i'm choosing me personally because i can condone others to do perfect example and i put this out there it's not a secret um i personally i'm pro life okay okay i don't get involved if, if you have other beliefs that's your world that's your business you mm-hmm. do what you want to do not too long ago i was downtown for another event and they were having uh an abortion rally in okay. a parade all right, right. okay I, I don't care. Go go about your business. That's perfectly fine for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. But there comes a point where I go, okay, I don't have to accept that. I don't right. have to say, oh, if you think it's okay, then I have to be on board with right. it too. I think this is the same area. It's these lines where I go, you can be they, them, whatever it is. I don't care. I'm not doing it. Right. It's the same reason why, okay, everybody calls me Tub. My right. name is Jerry. Right. Okay. So when people call me Jerry, I kind of go, okay, but I can't force everybody to call me Tub. Some people have an absolute okay. right to call me Jerry. Right. Okay. So guess what? Same thing for them. You can't force me to call you anything. People call me jerk a lot. Right. Okay. Not my name. So right. what I'm getting at is just because 
we've allowed this slippery slope. Okay. We've opened the door that as long as we change the words, we don't think anything of it. I'm telling you, it, television stuff along those lines, these things have started creeping in. Right. When, when, let me ask you a question. When is this an episode of Law & Order? Um, probably already has been. Great. So, but you're still not getting at. I mean, they've is, got quite a few episodes that, out. I mean, they're that, like in what, like 20 like, season or something. Yeah. So I'm I'm at the point where I go, and they've okay, got them in every different city. The, the, yes. <laughs> so what happens when it it infiltrates? What happens when whatever group this mm-hmm. is starts growing? What happens when the true pedophiles, dude? Wait a minute. I'm going to be part of this group now, too. So what happens when this group grows solely because the number grows because of the people who say, hey, guess what I want to do? Then what happens if this starts becoming acceptable? Do we then have to go back and everybody who's been a registered sex offender for those actions to now become legal? And are their records gone? And is it okay now? Like, where does this stop? So I'm a little worked up about this video. Usually we have fun with it. I'm sorry. (laughs) I didn't mean to get you all worked up. But like I look and I'm going to I'm going to make a hard line. Anybody can turn against me if they want. Right. Listen, I will not travel down this road of maps and all this other junk. I'm like, listen, dude. Right. No, I don't. I I know. I know you. I know. (laughs) Be clear to anybody. I do not agree with this idea of calling people maps. When I say when I say that I'm going to call somebody what they've asked me to call them, I do it as a matter of courtesy. Okay. So the same way. So a matter of courtesy would say you guys start calling them maps. Right. No. No. Where's the courtesy stop then? Where where I choose. Oh. Okay. Right. Because like. So you're okay with they them. I usually use it if I don't – because here's what happens. You, you use the wrong, quote, wrong gender, right? You, 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 somebody says, I'm, I, I identify as she and you use he because you look and you're like you – You're kind he. Of, you kind of look we, we, to me. We've had this conversation right? about somebody in the Libertarian and, Party. And, and so, so you, you, you do this mm-hmm. and what happens is the conversation becomes all about should you or should you not use the pronoun. Okay. Right. And I'm like, in this particular case, I don't want to distract with the whole which pronoun did I use? What I want to do is I want to talk about this terrible idea. Right. Be- and so in order to get past what I know tends to be because I've talked to people and they're like, but like, I met had- I met somebody at the Florida convention mm-hmm. and I said I, I did my normal courteous thing. I said, you know, good morning, ma'am, or something like that. And she said. Not ma'am, something, something, whatever. Uh, I think you, I, th- I think you met this person. I did, and so I just obliged. Why? Because if I had pushed it, no other conversation would have been had, right? I could not have, I could not engage in any further conversation because pe- these, hold, but hold these on. individuals why, why, why are is... going to say no. I want to talk about my pronouns, and and we're, we can't move past this. And maybe that's part, maybe that's the problem. There's maybe the problem. the problem is to say, when okay, that, fine. When that that's started, line, we didn't make the stand. When that the started, line? become the the thing. You have to call me this. We didn't make a stand there. Okay, okay fair so enough. So we 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 gave them that one. All right. Okay. And now where does the, we have to be cautious about right. where this stops? Because so I've made the stand. We we fall in different places. I know you're being polite. I get it. Right. But and that's, I've that's made what the it stand. Yeah, I've made the stand of I, like I've said before and. It's so funny. You know, I've had the conversation about how how do libertarians get angry when somebody doesn't believe in political correctness? Or the, I'm like, shouldn't that be what the Libertarian Party is about? Right. You can have that, but I don't have to buy into right. it with you. Right. And so I do not. I do not buy into the they them. Right. Um, if you are a male, you're a male. If you're a female, you are a female. There's no such thing as non-binary. That in my world, that's not how they exist. Okay. I'm gonna stand in that. Okay. Now I do not walk around. You've never heard me go around say they can't do that. They can't be allowed to. Nope. I'm simply saying my role right. inside of your world says I'm not doing that. I'm not calling you that. Right. I'll be res- the one that we're talking about at the, at the convention. We had a good conversation. We were very respectful to each other. Um, we had a conversation of disagreement. Not ugly, not debated, right. uh, but it was more – and it wasn't even necessarily about those lines. It was just other things that we kind of disagreed on, not angrily. We were right. perfectly right. fine. Right. But never in that conversation did I refer to them in the way that they thought I should refer to them. I, I'm right. not doing that. Right. I don't believe in that. So, But I think as a libertarian, I have that right. Yeah, I, I agree. Now, I had no problem with this person walking around and doing – I didn't care at all. Hey, go around and I don't care. You have that right. Right. So, but don't try to turn this on me when I won't accept what you're telling me right. to think. And that, unfortunately, that's the road we're traveling right. down, even inside of libertarianism. Right. We're allowing certain groups to come in, tell us this is what we have to do. And if we don't buy into their thinking, well, you're wrong and you, right. you don't, you're not libertarian. How am I not libertarian? This is exactly the stand of libertarianism. Right. When you come in and force me to say, right. I have to identify you as this, you're no different than the other two parties. Right. So I get a little worked up, not because sure. of what just this is, right. what's next. Right. And if this is on the radar, 
we better get ready. Oh, yeah. This is going to go so. further. I think so. And, and you know, for me, using somebody's, like, my position on the whole personal pronouns. Right. Um, one, I think it's a bit silly, personally. Okay. Yep. Um, however, I also look at it and I say, you know, growing up, like, my name is not DL. It's not, like, my parents didn't name me DL. Right. My name is Daniel. Mm-hmm. I haven't had people call me Daniel or Dan or any variant thereof. Yep. And De- a couple, like a exactly. decade or so. I get it, yeah. Something like that, right? And when people ask me, they say, oh, well, you know, what, what should I call you? And I said, DL's fine. Mm-hmm. And they'll say, okay, DL. You know, or when, I was younger, or when I was younger and I went by Daniel, uh-huh. it, you know, people would ask me, they'd say, oh, do you like to be called Dan or Daniel or Danny? And I was like, I don't really care as long as it's not Danny. I, I'm not a big fan of that. Okay. Right? <clears throat> but how many people would still call you Danny sometimes? And one, ever. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. One ever. They, Everybody always did it as a matter of courtesy. Mm-hmm. They could have said Daniel. They could have said, uh, they could have always said Daniel, even if I said, please call me Dan. Mm-hmm. Right? Because Daniel is my legal name. Right. Right. So you could, you could make an argument and say, like, look, I'm going to call you Daniel because that's your legal name. Right. And, and what could I say? Right? Nothing. And, and, and so, so to me, the fact that people, Call me DL is a courtesy. But, but, but here's what you get to do. Right? If but somebody, they don't have to. But oh, exactly. Required. If somebody calls you Danny, you have a choice to go, I'm not talking to you. Right. Okay, so if I say, hey, you're him. Right. You have the right to go, I'm not talking to you, dude. Right. Oh, right. perfectly fine with that. Okay, right. you have and, that and, right. And, and but maybe, you don't have the right to tell me, this right. is what I have to say, in order to talk to you, right. I have to do this. Or I can just choose, right. okay, I don't want to talk to you then. And, and, and maybe that's where we made a mistake. Mm-hmm. Right. Maybe our mistake was was not drawing a clear distinction between um, imposition and courtesy and saying, look, if you ask me, and that's usually what I do. If you ask me, um, I'll, I'll try to oblige. But the moment you insist, the moment you suggest yep. anything, I'll give you I'm, that one. I'm probably either going to not talk to you or I'm going to uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I haven't, me. I haven't been in that. Hold on. Yet. I know me and I'll probably intentionally poke that button. Right. I'll poke that bear. Just, okay, right. fine. This is what you're saying you're going to be like? I'm right. going to keep doing it now. Right. Once you try telling me no, right. what did we talk about earlier? Right. You try telling me something. Oh, I might stand a little more yeah. now. Because right. I look at it and I say, if you decide that you're just going to insist on calling me Daniel, um, I could, you know, like you said, I have one or two choices. I continue and I just ignore it, which is what I did with Danny. Mm-hmm. When, when I, it was actually another pastor way back in the day. Okay. He, was just, I don't, I, he wasn't doing it out of rudeness. He just, like, for whatever reason, that's just the name that he picked. And he would always be like, hey, Danny. And... For whatever reason, it really didn't bother me when he said it. I was like, ah, hey, whatever, you know. My son's the other way around. He's a yeah. Daniel, and we always call him Danny. So That's all we ever do. I'm like, uh, so so it never really bothered me, but I, I from him, uh-huh. uh, but he, you know, uh, and, and I didn't him. care because he didn't do with ill will. There's no misattention, right. right? And so you kind of take that one, right? Uh, and you're like, okay, yep, you know, so be it. Yep. But the thing is, is it's the telling me. Now right. let me ask you this. Now this maps is... different story because you know what. I'm not going to use that term. Oh, I'm only going to use that term when I'm talking. When doing this. When I'm doing this and I'm talking. Or if you tell somebody about, hey, let me tell you about this really bad idea that's mm-hmm. going around right now. It's right. called maps. Right. Okay. But, <laughs> you know, other than that. But, but let me ask you but a question. But if someone asks me, they're like, hey, man, I like children. I'm like, so you're a pedo. Yes. I'm not going like, to be like, oh, so you're a map. So you're a map. Oh, so we're trying to we're trying to really understand what you're going through. Yeah, no. Okay. So let me I'm ask you a question then. Let's take the same thing that we're talking about. Mm-hmm. What will... What will happen inside the libertarian world? Because we made some pretty bold statements right here. Right. Of I'm not bu- I'm not buying I mean, this. I'll line. have to put it out. Yeah, like I don't <laughs> mind. No, no, no. I don't no, mind. I, I, don't I know we anything. don't care. Right. Like, like I don't mind. I, I this is where I'm at. You right. don't have to like it. Do whatever you want right. with it. Okay. So I made this stand inside the libertarian world. Because let's be honest, the libertarian world and there's some facets of it. They get pretty liberal. Can be. You, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. the things that I'm seeing, like, oh, you got to accept this. No, I don't. Right. So what risk? What line are we as libertarians? Is there some backlash? Is there is there a level of where you're libertarian, dude? You got to accept that. Like, where am I at? Like, where where do we see this as? Um, well, I think it depends on the, the 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 particular circle that you're running in. I think there are some that would uh, that would weather any backlash, and I've seen it on on what we call Liberty Twitter. There's a you know a lot of Twitter accounts. Are, okay. they're libertarians, and uh, some of them are party members, some of them are not. And they really do. They they buck this kind of a trend. Okay. Um, not just the whole maps thing, but also the gender thing. Okay. Almost intentionally. Okay. And I'm actually connected to two people who are trans. Can you send and they're, me? Oh. And they're, and they're, okay. they're explicitly, they're like, look, I don't really care if I don't you care. misgender me. Like, this is the one that I use. If you don't use it, uh, I'll survive. I'll, I'll get over There's, it. And I can appreciate yes, that. Yes, I'm fine with that. And you know yep. what? When I talk to them or about them, mm-hmm. I try to use the, 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 the proper gender as a 
again, a courtesy. I don't do ultimatums. It doesn't work for me. We talked right. about that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> ultimatums and me don't work. You you push my button and you say you have to say this, otherwise you're a terrible person. I'm gonna be. Like, I'm about to be a really terrible person. I'm like, oh, I'm about, to, I'm about to be the worst person you've right. ever met. Uh-huh. Right. Um, but if you but it, but it, but if you are a transgender person um, and you say, hey, I would prefer you to, to you, you know to be called this, then. I will I will try to oblige because to me it, it in that particular case it is no different than Sir Danny and Daniel Madam Danny Daniel DL whatever mm-hmm. Maps and Pedos not quite yes. the same I think yes. there is a distinction mm-hmm. I think that by using the term Maps we're normalizing behavior that we don't want okay because we're using nice language whether somebody deci- decides they're a he or she he or she they're both equal in my mind, effectively, right? Like, there's, it's not like, oh, the she's are moral and the he's oh, are yeah, not. Oh, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not that case. This is the case with the, with the maps and the pedos. Maps and pedos are both immoral, in my opinion. Now, if you haven't acted upon it, great. Struggle. Kudos to you. Yep. I'm okay with that. And if you need some help, I do want to see you get help. Yes. But I don't want to, I don't want your help being tied to social ideas about whether or not that is a moral or immoral thing. We've already put our we've already put our flag down and said immoral. You cannot have sexual relations, you know, or any intimate relation with a child because a child cannot consent. Right. Period. Mm-hmm. Right? And yes, we can argue, okay, what about 17 and 18? I get it. You have to draw the line somewhere. We drew the line at 18. Deal. Done. Yeah, right. right. Like some, because even if we move the line back and said, okay, well, 17, because you know, so, and, and, then someone's going to be like, well, what about 16? Here, here's and the so thing. Like, it, it's is a never ending scale. On that line, and we're going into a part of a conversation that's by just extra. Right. right. Um, this is a bonus. Yeah, this so is all free stuff here. Enjoy it. Um, so, and make sure you donate he, to his campaign. Well, I'll talk about that in a second. So I- inside of that is there, there is this, I, I do believe that um, the sex offender, mm-hmm. okay, has the title and what has gotten out of control. Mm-hmm. Because unfortunately, there are yes. things in place where um, the boy could be seventeen, she's seventeen. They've been dating for two years. They have right. sex with each other. The boy turns eighteen. The parents call the cops. Right. That's wrong. Right. Like that's wrong. Right. Uh, now I think there's a difference between that right. and this guy's forty. This little girl's oh. twelve. Yes. And now we got yeah. problems here. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So unfortunately, I think that there has to be some understanding inside the title of uh, sex offender. Right. And uh, which I don't think we really in have some those. States- if you're There's, peeing in public, you yes, can be a pu- here. Can, that you, happens it, here in Jacksonville, it, it, Florida. Uh, yes, oh, I, I know. I, I think Michigan's one. I, I, I don't know. About I, know I know a guy. Okay, uh, he's a homeless guy um, out there by our church. And so one day he was out there on the side of the convenience store. I'm paying a look at attention. He's out to go in the bathroom real quick on the side of the building by the dumpster area. Not like wide open view of anything. Come to find out, there was a kid sitting in a car. And so the complaint was, I guess that when the parent got back in the car, like, oh, that guy was over there peeing. Call. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. Right. Is that, and, so, and, and unfortunately, but that what we're talking about here is nothing then like you hear, then this. Then you hear a sex offender, and everybody immediately goes like, right to the says, bed. Everybody they, goes to oh, they don't even they don't even stop at rapists. They're like, so you molested children? Yes. Like that's just exactly where people go. And, and, but the problem is that they're saying they want to get rid of that thinking. I can agree with the level, right. but I don't want to include right. these ones who go, no, dude, it's okay. No, right. no, we're not including right. that. And, and I don't want to. As, um, as as this picture here showed, where did it go? I lost my picture here. As this particular picture showed, I don't. I'm not. I I, I think it's a problem to say we're going to develop an idea on how to keep people from gravitating from Group A into Group, group B. Right. right? That's, that's if that's the truly their intention. Right. Which I don't think it is. We're gonna create. We're gonna we're gonna work on some strategies to prevent that from happening. But <clears throat> we're gonna use. Um, we're gonna we're gonna build it on the foundation of people who believe that it's not wrong in the first place. I think Where that's a that problem. Shift to? Mm-hmm. I think that's a problem because effectively their entire behavior, their rationale for not doing something is built Just on because, that foundation. Yep. But once I can pull that down, right? I need I'm free to go. I need the I need the strategies to be built on the idea that it is wrong. Mm-hmm. And period. Stay there. We camp right. out there. We we, we don't we don't suggest, blur lines and we don't start because once know, we blur the line, right. Group A mm-hmm. is acceptable to go into Group B, right? You okay. know because because it, it's it's the same process that we that you see in corporate America, right? And and not pedos, but the same. <laughs> the, the same what's going on? Same, is there, the is there something I'm missing? Line of thinking, right? Okay. People will. Go and they will um, – they'll see a problem and they'll say, well, we need to do this thing to fix it. 
and they just come up with any old idea, mm -hmm. right? And they don't really travel down to a proper root right. of the problem. Yep. I think the root of the problem here is not society. It is not that society is intolerant. Nope, not that at all. That's not the root. The root of the problem is child can't consent. So that's what any idea that stems, any strategy mm -hmm. that comes out that says this is how we need to approach so that we can prevent people from becoming offenders, that, that needs to be built on the foundation that children cannot consent, yeah. so therefore it is wrong, period. Here, we don't Full talk about stop. Yeah, we stop. Yeah, Full we're done. Full freaking stop. Yep. The, like discussion doesn't you go know? past this right and, here. And if your foundation is, well, it's kind of society's fault, I'm not going to trust any ideas after that. No, I'm done. <laughs> like, whatever you present to me after. Right. Yeah. Wait, right. aren't you the same one who was saying this was okay? You've lost the argument. Right. No matter, even if they have valid arguments. Right. Like, no, dude, I don't think so. Your premise is wrong. Because your process is perfectly designed to give you the results that you're getting. Now, when you build a process on a faulty foundation, yep. you get the results that come from that. I say about, other, exactly I say it about world religions. If, right. if your premise is wrong, everything that's what comes I mean out of by, that. Yeah. That's what I mean by the so, logic in, in corporate America. So, 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 he, so here's my thinking, because you mentioned there that, that I'm running for office here in town, mm -hmm. okay? <clears throat> and, and unfortunately, we are in a time when politicians say, I have to get elected. Mm -hmm. And so I, I can't, I'm not going to say anything against that community. Right. And, and I, I'm going to tell you, if me making a stand like that makes people say, I'm not voting for him, then fine, I don't go to office. Right. Like, like there, there are certain things I get, even as a libertarian, right. I go, I'm sorry. Right. These are the, I'm drawing lines here. And these are not lines that are open for interpretation that we can talk about for votes. No, I, like I'd sooner not run at all. Like there's this big backlash here in town. Hey, the maps group all came after me and said, they don't want to be a part of this. Oh dude, best of luck to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, or even the fact that they say, Hey, listen, um, if the, if the gay community were to come out and go, Hey, you know, you don't call us by our things. So I'm not voting for you. Uh, okay. You, you have, I'm not going to change my thinking on something like this. And, and maybe, get. and yeah, and maybe some of this is is my my Christian background, right? You know what I'm saying, and, and you know that's going to naturally inflict on what I personally believe sure. and want to do. Um, now, listen. Once again, I have my own brother. We talked about it early. My brother's gay, and uh, listen, okay, we're we're like so. It's not like this. I hate these, and that, unfortunately, here's what it turns into. Oh, you said these things, so you hate gay people. No, I absolutely do not. Right. I hate when you start telling me I have to accept your right. things. It's right. no different than if I came at them and said, you need to all be like Christians. Right. They would look at me and go, no, dude, no, I'm not. Right. Exactly. It's, you know, a long time ago, I kind of made a joke, but it was it was kind of intentional. I said, oh, personal pronouns? Let me let me introduce you to my personal adjectives. <laughs> right? Awesome. Badass. <laughs> cool. These are your you know, personal adjectives? Uh, yes. To describe yourself? Yeah, I, that's what I want you to use. Oh, right? you're telling and, me I have to describe right. you in these means. Okay, right. 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 And, 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 I, and I think there's a parallel there. I know people don't want to hear it, but I think there's a parallel. And that parallel is the same. One person telling another person how they have to talk about them, right? Because uh, if I use your pronoun, which is he. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> I'm probably not talking to you. What do you mean? I don't say, "Hey, he, how are you?" No, you're right. Right? Yeah. Like that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I would be talking to my wife, and I would say, "Man, Tub came over, and he was you he, know, so crazy and just yep. all over the place." And then I got to so, that conversation has happened so to be I'm, honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm having a conversation with somebody else, and so this is my big problem with the pronouns. This is why I made that you know adjective joke because mm -hmm. I'm like, it's ba you're basically in in most cases directing how somebody's talking about you to somebody else. So you are invading the relationship between. Two other people two, that have nothing to do with parties you. Yep. that you may or may not be involved in. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are some situations where, like, if I'm introducing you from in a crowd and I'm like, hey, Pastor Tubb is a great guy. He comes to us from, you know, far, far away, whatever, you know, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, then I might use a pronoun in your presence, um, but I'm still not talking to you. Right. I'm still not engaging with you. I may be talking about you, right? And, 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 and so we can, you know, that's a nuance that people can have a conversation about. But I think in most cases, when you use a pronoun, like you, when you use an adjective, you are talking about one person to another person. That person that you're talking about has no right to drive the right, interaction right. between you and somebody else. Yep. And that's my big problem with it. But I still will do a courtesy if I can. Um, wrapping this up, <laughs> no courtesy to maps. No, 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 no. Not doing it. Now, is, is there a, no, no, I don't you're a, you're a pedo. If we want to now, if I, I will use these terms, if we're talking in a more academic sense, right? If we're trying to break down things academically, and there's maybe some documentation that I'm trying to work with, then yes, I'll just kind of go with the, the the jargon that's in place. I will use that. But once we're done with that, it's back to Peter. Well, when you present it to me, say, "Hey, these are maps." Right. 
Okay, so there's that term where you go, okay, there's a time for you to use that. Right. When you're using in description of, right. it's, it's saying right. this is who they are. Right. Okay, right. That, like we're fine with like, I, I, like I say, if we're talking about these maps, okay, all right, I, I'm not being like, I'm not going to call them that. No, that's fine. In fact, I'd rather put them into a category right. that we know clearly right. who we're talking about. Right. So I think that's fine. I think it, when we're saying, hey, we're using them to describe them. And, and I think that it, it's, I'm good with that. Right. Okay. I just think that once again, you start forcing me, try to start, right. start, I'm not going to do it. And, and it may be the case that, like you said earlier, we are going to try to wrap it up. Maybe the case that you said um, we need to draw a lot harder yeah. line mm-hmm. because that harder line may be getting used against us come in the future with maps. Yeah, yeah, like well, we let because this go. Because they're basically let this go. they're basically jumping on the bandwagon of all the groups before them using all the same arguments. Yep. Everything that I read so far uh-huh. is literally arguments that I've heard for all the other gender and um, oh. sexual orientation groups. They're using all the same arguments. Okay, because it worked. Well, because because well, it worked. Because like they're saying, they're like, hey, it's they're they're saying. This is a sexual orientation that I don't have any control over. Well, that's exactly what the gay community said, Mm -hmm. right? Um, Difference, of course, being that the gay community was not dealing with people that could not consent. Right. So you're dealing. So so it's a big difference. And I think we effectively they're making the same argument. They're the same foundation argument. But but I think that you know what's funny is I often mention that is that because many times there are people who hear about the gay community and they'll lump them into pedophiles and perverts. I'm like no no no. Let's be very clear. Like my brother's gay, but he's not going around finding little boys or anything like that. And and I always and like there are things I always want to separate. I never want to lump people in where they don't belong. They belong in the category. Category pedophile. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they, they may overlap into two different groups. People, uh, you know. Like this Venn diagram and they sit right here yeah, in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a Venn diagram. You got like, hey, this person might be gay and they might be a pedophile at the same time, but they are two distinct different things. But this right? this group here fits and, right into the middle one of one doesn't one doesn't mean the other. Right. Right. So, um, all right. Well, I think that wraps it up. So we are not going to be using maps unless we absolutely are talking about this in a more you know academic sense. Unless, how did you get to my house? I used maps on right. my phone. I used, <laughs> I used Google Maps. Like, yeah. use Google pedophiles? No, what? Like, what? <laughs> I don't really understand. Okay, now I'm going to get it shut down on my yep, YouTube. Yep, you're all done. So I guess, uh, I guess next week I do a show by show. myself. <laughs> right, right. There's no more shows because I'm going to be canceled. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. And uh, let us let uh, leave us some comments, whatever you think. Uh, quick question for you. Yes, sir. Should I read the dissertation and do a review on it? On what? The, the dissertation, the, the full dissertation. It's like 100 and some pages, like 200 pages. Of what? The dissertation that Dr. Alan Walker did on these strategies. Why would you travel down that road? I don't know. For the same reason I did um, the uh, the white fragility. It's, wasn't this already enough? Maybe. Maybe it's enough. I wouldn't Tell travel down that think. road. Leave it alone. Tell me what you think. He says no. Let me know what you think. All right. Have a good one. We are out.